DeFi weekly call. When you do recover your MetaMask, you're getting a fresh MetaMask. So your, your tokens and your wallet still exist, but the MetaMask isn't showing them. That's where you need to add those tokens. You need to add those different networks. She brought up some questions on settings that I thought would be good to share. Like all these wallets, if you've watched any of my wallet videos, the first thing I do is go to settings before I do anything. As soon as I get it set up, go to settings, because I want to make sure this is up to my standards security-wise, and I'm not sharing information that shouldn't be shared. So first thing, we've got general, so it's just some basic settings in here, just to kind of fine tune it for you, different looks, things like that. You can hide tokens without balances. Um, if you're getting a bunch of airdrops, you won't know you have those airdrops unless you do a scan on your wallet. So general is just general, and then we get into advanced. So this is the like different logs, things like that, syncing with your mobile, if, if you choose to do that. I'm not a big fan of it, but a lot of people are on mobile, I get it. Uh, advanced gas control. So just this literally just changes where you are able to change those gas controls. And then the hex windows, not a ton in here. Um, test networks, things like that. I mean, you can really, there's nothing security wise in here that's going to cause any issues. You've got contacts if you really want to build contacts. But again, you know, it's just adding more and more data that they can go through, but security and privacy. So uh, phishing detection is always good <clears throat> to have. Phishing is probably the main scam when it comes to crypto wallets and, and exchanges. So having that phishing protection is always super, super important. And then there's the show balance and token uh, price checker. So this will connect and use CoinGecko and and crypto compare APIs just, just to pull that price in. Um, you can use it. You, you don't have to. It's not a big issue there. Showing coming transactions. I'm a big fan of seeing what's coming in and going. So that's always super important. But nothing crazy in here. Auto detect tokens. So this is one I, I turn off. I think this is on default. It is on. So this is when those airdrops come in. This will auto detect the tokens and make them available to you, make them visible to you. Sorry. Now, some of these airdrops, you got to go through and verify. Now, you can get an airdrop of a token that's a bad actor. And it being on your wallet isn't going to do anything until you go to engage with that contract, engage with that token. That's where some of these scams come out. So I don't even want to see them when they come in. I do a scan on my wallet once every couple of weeks just to see what's going on there. And then I can verify some of those tokens that have been put in. And then batch account balance request. So we batch accounts and query Infura to responsibly show your balances. Just going to bring your accounts together from a dollar value, but there is information being shared. So this is interesting because I've turned this off a few different times and it hasn't saved for me, which makes you wonder. So Go ahead. Change the RPC in the first place, and then Infura is not able to collect any information. That's one of the the latest articles that we've dropped. And once you're using my Ether Wallet RPC instead of Infura, and then they don't get anything. They don't get any information. Then the last one here is metrics. So this is just participating by sending the anonymous data to MetaMask to help them make better. I'm protective of my data, you know, make, make your product better with someone else's data. Not mine is my opinion. Um, but those <laughs> are the main, these are the main security ones. Now you've got alerts, you've got things like this. You can go through, these are all pretty, you know, I don't like some of these experimental ones, but I turn these on cause I am playing with some of these. Um, and I haven't had any issues, but that's really a quick summary on the settings. So I just wanted to point out the Ethereum mainnet with a lock is the one that Infura has. MetaMask will not let you change or edit any of those settings. Switch, add your own Ethereum mainnet, and you've got no issues and there's no tracking.